Hey guys, I'm back and um, I have continued to do some work and go through my stash and apply them into different the different piles where I think that they will fit the best. Um, really quickly, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop for a second and I'm going to go through. This is kind of a mess. I've started to go through the rest of my 12 by 12 sticker sheets and I think what I'm gonna do is try to fit as many of these as possible into the current kits I have if they fit and then what's left over will be then my next starting group of starting points if that makes sense so this way and then like I said if I need to then break some of these down into other to different kits at least I'll have similar colors and similar um, groupings together if that makes sense so I'm just gonna set this down I've started to do that already as you can see like I had this one that had primary colors I put in the primary pile so I'm just going to do that and then this will give me an idea and because I, I kind of want an idea in my head of how many um starting points I'm going to have like how many rounds of this I'm going to have to do so as I keep going through my embellishments I'll kind of have an idea of what color schemes are coming up and what ones you know if I need to share some color schemes so put leave some embellishments um, set aside for future kits, that kind of thing. So it just kind of helped me see where I'm at. So I'm just going to continue my process. So here is this um, paper here from For the Record by Echo Park. And it has, um, I think, a lot of primary colors in it. So I'm going to stick that with the primary color pile. Okay, I'm just going to just taking all these out here it's a big pile here and then what I'll probably do then is I'll probably do quite a bit off camera but I'll come back and show you you know what I've done and I'll I'll show you um you know then I'll whittle it down to just working with one kit and then finishing that kit out so here I have these um I know that these are um i think i have some chipboard pages left of these and they definitely have that super vintage feeling to them so i'm gonna set them aside and i see them being kind of their own separate kits because even though they're like little girl they're way different looking and feeling than these are so set those aside oh there's a water fell out there I have this one here, and this is Teresa Collins, and this is Summer Stories, and I'm trying to see if it'll fit and match this Family Stories, although it doesn't really. The pinks are fine. Um, the other color is not so much. So I am thinking that this this might be a good one to set aside as well, and could be a great starting point because there's a lot of colors in it. Um, so I'll set that aside as well. Okay, this one here has um, lots of colors in it as well. It has reds and pinks and yellows and blues and greens. I cleaned it up here a little bit. Um, I let's see. I'm kind of. I kind of pulled me here, although this doesn't really have any reds in it. Um, this might be another good starting point as well because it has lots of colors in it. Okay, and then here's this. It has that darker pink, the black, and the brown. And I think I'm going to set that outside as well. All right, this is fun. This has... Um, Studio Calico, it has oranges and greens, turquoises, um, I'm trying to think of anything that is catching my eye. Again, this has the orange. I don't know that that necessarily fits. I'm going to set that aside as well. Old Sassafras Lass. Um, yellows and reds, blues. I might put this... But that red color is throwing me off. Um, I hate to keep setting them aside, but I might have to put this one aside too. Or, yeah, I think I'm, well, 
You know what? I think I'm going to put this in the October afternoon pile just to see if I can make that work. If not, I'll separate it out as its own. Another sassafras. I've been holding on to these. <laughs> um, and this has that brown in it with that pink and blue. And so I don't know that that's going to work either. I'll set that aside. Okay. I loved these. And so I had a lot of these because <laughs> they're so nice and neutral. I'm going to put this, I think, with my neutral pile. Um, actually, you know what? No, I'm going to put this one with this guy here because it has that vintage feel to it. And this one I'm going to put with the blue and green set because it has a very vintage vibe going on as well. Right, here's my last one before I turn the camera off and just do some um, off-camera work. Um, this one has lots of colors. Um, greens, blues, oranges, reds. And I might be able to combine that with one I've already put down there. So I think I'm going to go and set this aside and see if I can combine it with another one of them. And I'll do one more here. This guy here, Teresa Collins, You Are My Happy. And right away my eye went to this pile here because of that same orangey color there. So I'm going to add that to this pile here. And let's see, there's one more here. Yep, here's that. There's this I Am leftover sticker sheet. And I'm thinking this... We'll also go over here as well. Okay, so I'm going to continue to go through these. I'm going to set aside the ones that don't fit in any of these color schemes and also continue to go through my embellishments. I may pop back in and do a more video of that process. And then when I'm done with that, I'll single out one pile and then continue the kit making process. And I'll do that with each of these and we'll end up with multiple full awesome kits. So I'll be back soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye. All right, guys. Um, I'm back. And sorry, I, I know I said we'll see you later at the end of a little couple seconds ago. Um, but I said to, to go ahead and attach this video to the end of that one. So I'm back very quickly. So I was going to continue the process of going through the embellishments and that I would do that on camera. And then I, cause I'm just, I have a little bit of a pile yet, but um, I'm, I'm getting, getting through it. And then um, I need to decide. I think I'm going to then do like a second round of this. Um, and then I'll start doing individual kits. So just to give you a little layout of what I'm going to do. I'm not super organized because I'm kind of doing this, figuring this out as I go. Um, a couple notations. I did add in this Project Life kit to this pile here um, from Becky Higgins. It just kept catching my eye. And even though it has some colors that don't quite work there's a lot of them that do and so I had pulled that in there um but I'm plugging away I'm getting some good good piles of embellishments here and I'm just going to continue so let's see here okay I have these kites here that are this really pretty blue with kind of that orangey pink. Um, there's some, I think, navy blue in there and some yellow. And so I'm thinking, um, well, that's a different, Get hard, getting hard to see these basic sticker sheets here, the colors. I'm kind of thinking, actually, I'm going to do them over here, I think. Um, I think that goes really nicely with the blue here and then that is a little bit um actually it's not too bad okay it's a little bit more pinkish than this here but since this has a pink in it too i think that will match nicely and i have this guy here i think these are from michael's these butterflies which are really cute i'm thinking these are going to go here These butterflies are also from Michael's and yellow. 
That's kind of catching my eye there, actually. Actually, I'm liking that a lot, I think. I'm going to go with that. Okay, I have these little kits. I'm going to get my scissors here. But I think these are for planners. I bought a lot of planner stuff, even though I don't have a planner, because I can use it for scrapbooking. Um, but it's a little packet of goodies. It has some gold glitter tape, some, like, sticky notes, some flair. Um... A little envelope with some die cuts. Let me see what colors these are here. They're really cute. Seems like it maybe has some purple. Yeah, it has that purple in it. So I think I'm going to put it aside. So I know that I'm getting kind of some, a good collection of embellishments that have purple in. So I will put them with that. Same thing with this. Um... These, this matches those tags that I went through at the very beginning. So I'm going to put that aside as well. Um, these are cute. These are light pink and the mint green. But I don't have a lot of mint green going on here. So I think I'm going to set that aside as well. Now this is fun. This is a pack I got from Hobby Lobby. And it has some really fun bright colors. So automatically I'm thinking here... Yeah, I think I'm going to do, there might be some pieces in there that aren't going to quite work, but hmm. I don't want to split it up. This might be a good, I'm just going to look at it really quick. I'm going to look at this main like, sticker sheet here. leaning more towards this this packet here just because I think it has more of the the craft and things so I think I'm gonna put that there I have this I think I'm gonna put it in my pile of um, of um, neutrals and I have this here and I think this is actually maybe from the same line I know I don't think it is actually um, this is more pink and that's more orange. So I think this has a lot of that mint green as well, which kind of shows, I guess, not really. I think I'm going to set this aside. So these have some mint green in them too. I'm going to set it, set it aside for now. I can always add it back in later. I got these. These are super fun. They're file folders. I got these from Hobby Lobby as well. They're vintage cameras. And I think I'm going to put them in this pile here. Get into the bottom here. Okay, so I have these frames. Um, and this kind of is pulling that purple through again as well. So I think I'm going to put that aside. I might end up with just a Heidi Swap <laughs> based kit. Oops. Okay, I have these super cute uh, wood veneer cards. And I think I might split these up. Okay, so that's, I'm going to put that in. These are the neutrals, which is pretty much gold and silver at this point. Um, I have this. That's really cute. That matches that perfectly. So I'm going to put that there. Um, I'm going to actually put this, one of these here. Oh, that heart is so cute. But it's a little bit of a different pink. Um, I think it matches, well, I think it matches this pink. Let's see. You know what? I think I'm going to set that aside, I think. Um, and this lightning bolt also, I think, is going to fit best here. Or, yeah, I think I'll do that. I have this leftover sticker sheet from Heidi Swap as well. Looks like we got the yellow, a green color, and the pink. And I'm thinking that's going to work there. 
have these clips. I think I'm going to put this aside because of that purple. Um, I have this pack of wood veneers. They're very basic. Um, I think I'm going to put them. I don't think I have any wood veneers in here yet. So actually, let's see. Hmm. Actually, I think I'm going to put them here at the blue and green. Just because of the sentiments on there and kind of they're more, this is the more vintage and that those, I think one says high on there or something. So that doesn't quite, quite go. So this is that light pink and mint green again. So I'm going to put that aside for a future kit. Um, these are leftovers from, oh, I think Amy Tangerine, I think, or Dear Lizzie, one of the two. Um, and I'm trying to think of which... It has that mint green again. I'm kind of thinking it needs to go here. Because of that orangey, that orangey color there. Let me do that. And I have this here. And I think I'm going to put this here. Just because I have some pink. The pinks and the different blues together. And this like blue and green I think matches like there. So that'll be a good fit for that. I have these fun Studio Calico heart stickers. The orange, kind of that citron green, and this pale pink. And this, actually, you know what? Well, I like that the orange is in here. I think it's going to go there as well. That, there's not a lot of pale pink in here, though. There's another one that has orange. Um... I'm wondering if this one, you know what, I might, oh, let's see, I think I'll put this here for now, or I might put this in with the October afternoon pile, because it has a lot of the, the oranges, it has, I know, some light pinks, I think I'm going to put that in the October afternoon pile, I think that'll fit well. I have this leftover. Um, from Lost and Found 2 from My Mind's Eye. I'm going to put that in the blue and green pile. Pretty easy. And then I have these basic gray sheets. I'm going to have a few of these probably. And I think, I, I know I put this a sticker sheet here just because it has that vintage look. But a lot of these kits aren't super distressed looking. Whereas, you know, or that have, they don't have that basic gray look to them. So I'm kind of seeing that I might have a kit that maybe combines a bunch of old basic gray type of embellishments and papers. I'm okay with that if it's all the same line because I'll probably have some other like some bow bunny and some other things that kind of have that same feel. So I'm going to set these aside for now. I'm still recording here. I might shut off abruptly because my phone just decides that it's full and <laughs> it doesn't really tell me so um, or doesn't make any noises at me so I might if it just goes off then I'll I'll upload it and then start a new one. Um, so I have this I think this is from a uh, Michael's pack maybe. Um, you have that bright pink, the yellow, the black. I'm kind of thinking that is working for me. I have these gold and silver clips. I'm going to put that in the neutral pile. I have these I had together just because they match this light pink, black, and gray. I'm going to set these aside. Um, this is pretty color specific, so I might see if I can come up with a kit that maybe includes these colors and maybe adds in a couple other colors. So it might be a piece of paper that I find, or it might be another embellishment pack that has these colors plus some others. I'm gonna have to do some figuring out because I don't, I don't do well when I'm limited to just three colors. Like it'll maybe last me one or two layouts, and I'm gonna call it good because I'll get bored with it. So I'm gonna put this aside and see what I can do with it. Have these leftover stickers, canvas stickers from, I think I got this at Target. It's American Crafts. And has that purple, so I think I'm going to put it aside. And this old camera sheet, I think from Studio Calico. Um, 
with red. I might put those there because that blue kind of shows up. So I'm going to put that in my Simple Stories pile. Another basic gray I'm going to put aside. This is an old one, Teresa Collins on the edge. It has the blue, grays, and blacks. So I think I'm going to put it in my, my blue and green pile. And I don't know if I'll actually use these. <laughs> I might give these to my kids or um, put it somewhere. I'm not for sure. So but I'll put it there for now and we'll see what happens. Um, I have these old tags left over. Um, just these two here. I'm going to actually put them. Let's see. I keep backing on because they are pretty sticky. Just to get rid of this big old sheet. Um, so they're, they're this um, pretty blue and orange. So I'm thinking they'll probably go here because you have that right there. Um, these old tickets from, I think, Michael's. They're really cute. Um, I'm trying to get they match anything that I have laid out here. Um, this actually might be a good, I think it's going to go here. Because you have the reds and the blacks. And some of that, that pretty turquoise color, the green. So I think I'm going to do that there. That's cute. Okay, then I have this here. Prairie Hill. And I'm going to set this aside because I know I have this line somewhere. And this should be with that. Because um, I think I had it in a collection kit somewhere. So I'm going to put that aside. Another one of these. Oh, yeah, another one of these here. Um... I think I might put that here as well. And then I have these photo corners, this random camera put it there. Um, and these I think are gonna go, let's see. These are gonna go, um, I think they're gonna go here because that pink kind of shows up there. Um, and I have this here, um, I think I'm going to set this aside because I think I have some other items that I've already put in my, um, basket that are going to match this better. And then this is pink, gray, and black, and I'm going to set that aside as well. Maybe put with a white, gray, and black. It's probably the same line, actually. Okay, I'm going to finish up. I have a little bit of a pile here yet. I'm going to see how I'm doing um, on time on my phone. And I'll be back soon. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.